Stick say. Yeah, I mean, no real surprises here. It's TSM again focusing heavily on team fight. And uh, CLG with the Rek'Sai jungle pick, it does give them... CLG said that he's like, no, it's playoffs are double sided. Mirroring junglers here for a lot of the early game. Ooh, nice stun in Hrothan. Now it's a flash, Rachel Link's might is on. He's got nowhere to go, and it's going to be one more hit to do it. Ooh. And 50, the heal comes through, still gets the first blood. But now it's time for the trade kill. A knock by defense and still gets the kill back up on this one. Now a one-on-one -on -one with the top players fighting back and forth. And here comes the TP in. Lulu on the top side here. The flash Q, one more hit will do it. And Bjergsen with the flash, he getting it two for one. Who he during that was able to die minion wave, but here comes another teleport. The flank oh, team for Hanser. Flash pull over as Afro, who now flashed the wave, and now Caitlyn's stuck in the rocks out of this fight, so we'll see if it's one it's or it's two kills. Gets oh. some CS, can't get no. very much. They're gonna go for double if. Should have control oh. the bot side of the map. Because Looks like Echo Stixay teleport. is gonna this is get the flash they wanna though. try. They're trying to go for it. The flash of the head, but into the pulverize. Here comes Echo, but is it gonna be enough to keep Stixay alive? The red stacks are in. There's the first kill. Darshan to keep going, but where are the teammates? Morgana is still far. Oh. Double F losing a lot of health, but he's close to rent lethal damage. Oh. Hits Darshan down to about 600. Looking to go back nice into this e one. re-engage here for Darshan. Smithy's coming around the top side and he's very healthy, but Double Lift and Yellow Star retreat. Looking for the play even still. Smithy right. not in range for a flash knockup, but Yellow Star is out of cooldowns. Double Lift oh, has no it. ulti as well. Who he packages in. Look for Double Lift in the whole map long dive. I'm gonna give that one a perfect 10. Well, look at the top lane here. They're trying this late game team fighting and their goal distribution is in the right place to make that efficient. So CLG goes in. Looking for the flank right there out of the back line. Double Lift very low and hold the button oh, against the back throw with the Beautiful. flash Q. Now to keep going to this one, a headbutt. Getting Smithy out of the fight and now a flank is in for Hauntzer, but it's a 5v4. Afro's gonna land a double stun and there's plenty of attacks coming out from Stixay, but still it's not Hunter's enough. Still and Hauntzer there. is crushing up on the side, doing what damage he can. It's a one for one overall as Afro and Double Lift are both dead. The chase continues. Hauntzer on the right hand side. Bjergsen's gonna be in range for more. There's the Glitter Lance slowing down Smithy. The stun into the wall. Make that a two for one for TSM. They split up and who he can oh, cut them off with the package. A little bit too far to the right. Doesn't knock anyone in the oh. front But Scarin gets led by the Dark Binding. Flashes back over, but why even bother? Uh. Yeah, but yellow start down a bit low. Binding hits Bjergsen for some decent damage. Oh, in comes Darshan, taking a lot of damage to get the shield back up and nearly kills on the Alistair, but now it's a run away. The knockups are in, who's gonna, what? Hauntzer, it's nobody at all. And the re-engage comes in, Bjergsen. It's two kills so far. Make that a third and two, he goes oh. down. And nothing for Xmithy, a four for zero. Yeah, Hauntzer didn't want to hit them. because The team fighting and the gold all come out big for TSM and they get a full push down the mid lane. Yeah, CLG may be good at playing the map. Oh, Aphromoo gonna get chased down here, actually. Binding onto one yeah. is running away to buy time. To be honest, Aphromoo's buying time he's, because he's the dead. game could have ended on the other side if Aphromoo didn't sacrifice. The sacrifice the there. After the try. first. CLG has to try to stop this. All in. Can Poppy stop Rex from getting in? No, she Smithy's cannot. In. They're inside the pit. Still. Plenty of damage dealt. Echo pops the ulti. Now Smithy is stuck inside the pit. 2400 HP. Down goes the Smithy. Now Kaylin's in the fray as well. Here comes Huhi. This is the fight that CLG needs. They get one so far, but it's still going TSM's way. Sticks in the last one alive. He's not going to live much longer. TSM win another fight. And CLG commit everything for that. That's going to be game. Yes, in game one, CLG could play the map, but the only part of the map TSM have to play is mid lane. They got all their advantages there, and they're gonna go straight back up to the Nexus. A Baron buff, Hauntzer, and a super minion. That's all they're gonna need. TSM looking to close it out. Yes, yeah, such a bounce back game for TSM. They stayed calm, they stayed collected. They stayed with their mid strategy. The whole game, they were just up and down that mid lane. COG could not split push, could not team fight. TSM takes it to 1-1. The end of it.